iPadOS 14 Beta 2 is out. It was released yesterday, and I thought it would be a good time to see how well it performs on A9, A10, and A12 equipped iPads. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here today. I'll be running it or demoing it on the iPad 5th gen, the iPad 6th gen, and the iPad Air 3. But before we continue here, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the YouTube algorithm likes that and will help push my content to more people. And if you are a recurring viewer, go ahead and click the bell icon and enable all notifications. It does help the channel out a lot. All right, first up, we got the iPad 5th gen, which rocks the A9 processor. And of course, we have the iPad OS 14 Beta 2 installed. And I just remembered the hard way that um, this device does not support the Apple Pencil. I plugged it in and nothing happened. And I was like, what? And then I was like, oh, that's right. Apple Pencil support came with the 6th gen, which we'll demo in a minute here. But here we are on the home screen. And as you can see, the animations are quite smooth here. Even though the hardware is a bit on the older side, we'll do the notification panel right quick, the control center, of course, spotlight. Once again, we can toggle the app switcher as well. Not the smoothest I've ever seen, but still very smooth considering the age of the processor in here. Let's open up Safari. We can, you know, do some web browsing. I already had news loaded up, but I'll open up like the Apple website. For example, we'll load that. Here we are. Finally, I have a decent connection in my basement. How about I open up? I don't know. How about we'll do the files app. We'll bring it over to the right here. We can resize that scroll through it of course i can also open music in this sort of carousel view here we can do that and i don't have anything playing so i'll just close that up here we can again resize why not here um, i'll demo the keyboard really quick there's you know not really any stutter or lag when you're typing and that you know tends to indicate a device's age but everything's pretty smooth here we can toggle siri what's the weather like right now it's currently clear pretty quick we can open settings, open settings. Siri is really quick on these older devices. Apple really is optimizing this software or user experience for older hardware. And we can see that in Geekbench 5, for example, I ran a test earlier. We get a single core score of 555, multi-core score of 1049. So obviously not the greatest ever, but still, even though these scores are not the highest as of 2020, especially compared to the iPad Pro uh, with the A12Z and A12X, um, still this hardware can push the iPad OS 14 beta 2. Um, as you can see here very nicely um of course if you want to do higher end tasks you're going to want to get a newer ipad with an a10 or an a10x or you know an a12 or an a12x or z but yeah I am fairly satisfied with the experience I'm getting here. I wish I could demo the Apple Pencil, but unfortunately, once again, this device is one of those that doesn't. So we'll move on to the sixth gen now. Next up, like I just said, we got the iPad sixth gen and this device rocks the A10 Fusion, just like the seventh gen iPad does. And I think this test will kind of cover both of these devices, albeit the iPad seventh gen is a bit bigger, you know, has a bigger battery, has a bit higher resolution screen, but all in all, I think the performance is going to be about the same because the internal specifications really have not changed between the two. So I'll unlock with Touch ID here. We'll go to the home screen. And as you can see, animations are just as smooth, if not smoother than that of the fifth gen. It makes sense. The processor is, you know, definitely more powerful, substantially more so we can toggle some animations here. Once again, everything's super smooth. We can, you know, use the scribble thing so I can look up, for example, I'll, you know, write Geekbench, even though it's right here. And that works really, really well. I can go into notes here real quick and demo some handwriting here. The iPad 6th gen is still excellent for note taking, by the way. I might make a video about just how good of a value this tablet is, especially, you know, compared to the iPad 7th gen, even though it's a bit bigger and newer. Uh, so I can, you know, write, of course, here I can change the uh, scribble size or the writing, you know, font size or not font size, the pen tip size. Um, so I'll write some more here. There we go. Super smooth. Even at 60 hertz, I would enjoy using this to take notes, honestly, and do some artwork. Of course, the Apple Pencil has all the accommodations you would need for that, including pressure sensitivity, which is very important for, you know, uh, artists and whatever. And some people are like, hey, man, you're, you're not taking notes. You're just scribbling. I'm sorry. When you're talking, it's kind of hard to write words other than hello and your name. And it's easier to just sort of demo the smoothness of the pen so or the pencil. So my bad. But anyway, that's what I do. I just thought I would address that. But let's Let's go out of this app here we can go into the app switcher uh, how about we open up safari i'll open that up 
and as you can see the developer page is loading and my Wi-Fi is actually pretty decent I'll open up I'll load the Apple website like I did with the with the fifth gen iPad here we are let's do some multitasking I'll open up the files app once again here and resize that I'm um, very smooth as you can see you know scrolling through these two here um, I can close that up I can open up the carousel view how about I open up I don't know the music app once again you know just to keep things consistent and here we are with that um, so I can scroll through that and I can of course quit that. Let's try Siri real quick. Oh God, I gotta do this. What's the weather like right now? It's currently clear and 70. Very, very smooth. Open camera. And as you can see here, just like with the fifth gen Siri is super smooth. And I love, of course, the more compact form factor that it comes in. And then we'll look into Geekbench real quick here and look at the scores that I got 770 with a multi-core score of 1427. So there's definitely a leg up here in terms of single core scores and especially multi-core scores, a, you know, lead of like 400 plus points. So this is definitely going to be better for, you know, heavier end tasks like LumaFusion and gaming or whatever. Uh, but yeah. It performs really nicely even with this new update here and as the betas progress as we get closer to the public beta and of course the final release ipad os 14 is just going to get smoother and smoother and better on these older and newer devices and finally we get to the a12 equipped ipad the ipad air 3 which also shares the same specs as the ipad mini but i will just cover this and sort of cover both in doing so uh and if you didn't already know i've switched to this for a week from my ipad pro 12.9 inch just to see how much different the experience is and it's definitely a great experience but a different one so i can't wait to tell you about that in a future video of mine but anyway we're going to test the ipad os 14 beta 2 with this device wall so unlock with touch ID here. We're on the home screen. We can test out the animations, which are of course the smoothest I've seen yet because of the updated processor, notification center, control center. We can go to the app switcher. How about we open up Safari here? Um, actually, I was doing a demo and my camera died. So I'll close both apps here and we can open up Safari again. We can reload the Apple website. As you can see, it's smooth here. And I will bring back the files app, which was on my right. Here we are. I can uh, scroll through this very smoothly as you can see here multitasking is even better on this 10.5 inch display which is bigger than that of the 9.7 inch displays that we've previously seen i can go back home here how about we go into good notes this is an app that i use every day to plan my day and also take notes in college so i can do some erasing i can add something i don't know like you know edit the thumbnail for video and as you can see very smooth you know even though this display isn't 120 hertz like the ipad pros that's a big difference by the way but still this is a very smooth experience nonetheless we can go into notes here how about i use the pencil tool and do some sketching real quick i always enjoy doing that so i can uh, find that let me see here so i can sketch in black here we are I can go really dark i can go really light with the pressure sensitivity so as you can see here yeah very smooth uh, let's go into the Geekbench app and look at the scores. So single core scores are on 1110, multi-core scores 2852. So there's a big jump from the A10 processor, especially in iPad OS 14 beta 2. I feel like the older devices will be optimized more later on, but as of right now, newer hardware is being optimized first maybe. So yeah, the scores are really excellent here. And if you want to do anything remotely hardcore, you know, like video editing or gaming, this is going to be the device you're going to want to opt for if you don't want to spend, you know, more than an iPad Pro. So I'm very impressed with the performance here and I'll, you know, finalize things by toggling Siri. What's the weather like right now? It's currently clear and 75 degrees. Open stocks. Once again, very quick and I'm very happy with the way that Siri presents itself right now. And that about wraps things up here. I hope this video was helpful. Once again, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and of course, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.